welcome back everyone to this video is about my next project called Vinegar. So the integration this time is also really straightforward using a stampede and a uh, mega magnus. Starting off with the stampede I didn't do much internally, mainly I just exchanged uh, the spring uh, which is now a 4kg spring by OMW and um, I took out the uh, jam door switch for like better functionality and uh, because of the uh, higher spring tension I need to run it on like um, six upgrade batteries which is around uh, six times four 23 24 volts and uh, whenever you upgrade the spring of a stampede you need to uh, modify like that little uh, white piece uh, which is connected to the trigger and uh, what you need to do is like to sand off the uh, top part in order to uh, prevent this uh, continuous firing. The Mega Magnus is basically completely stuck and it's bolted underneath the tag rail of uh, the stampede using a wooden spacer as always. So what's really nice about the setup is, in my opinion, that um, these two parts actually uh, are detachable, let's say, they're like not part of the main body. So you can take it off easily and, uh, or let's say you can just open up the stampede and leave like the magnus uh, closed up in case you need to open it. The choice of colors was inspired by an anime classic and um, well if you know which one I'm talking about please let me know in the comments and leaving just only this little side here which I've been using like in a lot of projects recently and it's basically just a clamp for a PVC pipe and it's uh, just using a screw to hold it onto the tag rail. I didn't use like two this time because I think overall the uh, accent is nicer just with one. In order to fire the blaster the stampede needs to be turned on using the power switch here. The magnet loads from the bottom just like this. And in case you didn't know, the Stampede is considered the one and only full automatic uh, Nerf Blaster because it doesn't use any flywheels and um, there's no button you need to uh, push to wrap up any motor. So all you need to do is really to uh, pull the trigger and the magic happens through a lot of gears and springs and whatsoever. So like many other people, I also fell in love with the Stampede after my first uh, project with a working one and I can totally understand that it's uh, a hard thing or like actually a stupid thing to uh, sacrifice a working Stampede for like any shell works. Because operating this blaster is tons of fun and um, you kind of feel like the recoil inside, like all the moving parts and the power especially like of a stronger spring. And this is still kind of unique among like all the nerf blasters that you can still get out there. And um, I don't believe that there will be like uh, another blaster coming out with uh, this kind of mechanism because it's just way more expensive than uh, using just uh, flywheels for example. Although I have to mention that without like the uh, performance upgrade, the Stampede is kind of yeah, um, really underperforming compared like to uh, elite blasters. And in this setup, it's about the same performance like the Strife, although the uh, accuracy is kind of bad with like uh, old elite darts. Um, but nevertheless, in terms of fun factor, the Stampede definitely ranks um, pretty high among like all my projects that I have made up until now. So let me know what you think about the Stampede, and I'll see you next time.